Hi guys, we're going to be taking a look at Youngblood's breakdown. If you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into it. You know, this isn't what I was expecting at all um, with the very pretty light piano in the background. Um, lyrically, it sounds like he is really pouring his heart out here. So I'm really interested in what exactly he's going to get into. Um, yeah, very catchy so far. Um, oh, I'm excited. Let's see what he has to say. And it changes Tearing my heart out Wanting to die Before I open my eyes Go around a bend Before the sun comes up Things in my head Just don't line up Don't wanna leave my bed Cause if I do I feel like I'll die You know, he's really speaking To something that Everyone has felt At one point or another Um when it comes to especially changes that we don't have control of, um, I just I think he's putting it really beautifully into words um, and conveying that message very well, and it's pulling on my heartstrings. So, going around a bend before the sun comes up, things in my head just don't line up. Don't wanna leave my bed every time I do. I feel like I. love the mix that they're doing right now with this really really electronic beat coming in completely changing the pace of things and of course in the video they're they're here you know having him running and it feels like he's fighting those changes you know it's very uh poetic the way that they're doing it all so very cool So cool too how this beat that he has in there the the piano is laid under it in a way that the higher notes are kind of peeking out and I don't know it's just such a beautiful mix to me um yeah you know he's talking about the fear of breaking down as if death is somehow better than that to him so I do find that interesting I think a lot of people, there's a lot of shame in not being okay, right? Um, so I think that does speak to um, that societal pressure. Break down, oh, oh. Don't forget to put your feet in the grass. Tell your mom that you love her. Say you clean up your act. Give money to your homeless man. Help him buy a bar. When you're buying your morning coffee, ask him how they are. God save a Sunday morning, pray for me on a Saturday night. Talk polite, don't start fights, don't tell lies. That's for the people of oblivious short sight. One day we'll meet, man, and I'll say all right. See, the world is pretty big, man, but don't feel small in it. So, the way he's talking here, I'm not sure if he's talking about the pressure that he feels to be this perfect person or just trying to be a good change in the world. Um, it, it could go either way, really. I, I thought it was really cool, too, in the beginning of this part of the song, how they kind of switched over to um, more of a string uh, section. I, I wasn't sure if that was violin. But whatever that was, it was a really... It was a smooth transition to where I almost didn't catch it, but it's there. Meet man and I'll say alright. See the world is 
pretty big man, but don't feel small in it. Sometimes you lose the number, but I swear you're still calling it. I promise you'll be alright in the end. Fuck the depression, it's all in your head. Stay with your friends and walk up the hill at quarter to six in the morning. Taking the air while everyone else is still snoring. Express yourself for your friends, they'll save your life, you know. Everything's back, connection, you don't have to be alone. Break down, think you're gonna break down. Think you're gonna fade out. Think you're gonna break down. Oh. You know, another thing that he could be doing is giving himself the advice that he needs also giving us the advice that maybe we need when we're listening to his song in a time where maybe we feel like we're gonna break down so i think that's pretty cool um they did end up fading out back out of that string section at some point in time there it's it's hard you you know you don't notice these little there's there's so many little changes in there that you don't always notice where they're going next with the um, instrumental portion of it when you're also listening to the um, the lyrics themselves. So sometimes it's nice to listen to the song a couple of times, kind of uh, focusing on a different part of it um, to really get the full breadth of everything that's put, been put in there. But. Break down, think you're gonna break down, think you're gonna fade out. See, there's think those strings again. Gonna break down, oh, oh. You've been running. Hmm. Yeah. Running towards or running from? Not quite sure. Running from then. Make you say that? Because if you were running towards anything, you'd know about it, wouldn't you? I guess. Far That's more exhausting some than running from. Spend your whole life glancing over your shoulder and still never feel like you're getting anywhere. Sorry, who are you? Why are you here? You ran through my garden. I was hanging out my washing. I guess you're right, I'm sorry about that. No matter. Come along then, follow me. I'll put the kettle on. Okay, this is really interesting. He's got this whole portion of the video dedicated to him connecting with someone else. Um, and those were really wise words. I would imagine that he had some hand in that as well um, in terms of producing the video. Um, but I would definitely agree that running from something would be far more exhausting than running toward it. I mean, when you're running from something, you never really know how, how far to run. There, there's no end goal. It's just you're, it could go forever. Um, so I think that's really poignant. How long have you been here? What, six feet from oblivion? Decades. I've come to quite enjoy living on the edge. It's all on borrowed time, though, this whole place. I know the cliffs feel so monumental and so everlasting, but they could crumble away any time. No matter. Everything crumbles in the end. Stars burn out, planetary bodies collide, whole galaxies come and go. And for the most part, none of us will know anything about it. The universe is very, very big. And we are so very, very small. It used to terrify me until I realized something. You see, we are the only thing that gives meaning to the cosmos. We decide what matters. 
You can be cruel or kind, brave or fearful. You can decide that love is the most important thing in the world. And just like that, it is. You know, scenes like this, questioning existence, I feel like as humans, we're always questioning, you know, why are we here? And it's great that they aren't really trying to necessarily answer that question for us. Um, it's all, almost more of a connection letting us know that everyone else it feels the same way, you know? Um, when they provide us with this kind of um, commentary on that, it's easy to feel less alone, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But That it is. We can always choose. If we slow down long enough to see where we're going. You know, the message of slowing down a little bit definitely gets me. Um, in my personal life, I've been, um, I've been making some changes to slow down a little bit. And so I think it's, uh, it's important to stop and reassess life every once in a while and make sure that you're going towards the things that you are really passionate about. Um, and I just, I think that that's a great message. Um, and I think it's so cool. They've got him putting out the, the wash for her at the end, um, kind of showing that he's finding a way to slow down too. So. Break down, think I'm gonna break down, think I'm gonna fade out, think I'm gonna break down, oh, oh. Wow, guys, that was an amazing, amazing start back uh, to this channel. I know it's been a, a few months since I've um, posted anything, but I do have plans to start posting quite a bit more. Um, so if you are new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button, um, and I'll see you next time. Peace.